This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Borussia Dortmund. They take on Chelsea next on EA TV Live. One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Borussia Dortmund taking on Chelsea. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund Mats Hummel starts alongside Niklas Zule at the back and the striker of choice is the powerful and lethal Sebastian Allaire And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Joao Felix. Underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. James. He could pick out a teammate. Quite possibly a yellow card as the flow was stopped. Well, a clear and early statement of intent from the referee. It's a booking, Stuart. Well, the referee has made it absolutely clear he's not going to mess around here. And he whips it in, able to deal with the threat. Oh, good play, this. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary and collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Jude Bellingham. Now with Allaire. Royce has a go. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Habits. Well, the word dynamism certainly applies to Marco Reus. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders, he's got that ability to run with the ball into open space, he can pick out a pass, he can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. And Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace. Corner kick forthcoming.
Delivering it. as an own goal. Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Kukureya. Sterling has it. On the offensive. But the danger averted for now. Who's Chan? Meunier. Meunier. Joao Felix. This looks promising. And space to cross it. Out of play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Felix. Cross could be useful. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Time to play is over. Kai Havertz. Sterling has it. And Chelsea have given us away. Marco Reus. Joao Felix Sterling pretty comfortable piece of defending Who's Chan and Bellingham well no mistake from the keeper acting decisively It's a good Dortmund move in the making, and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Ziyech. And looking towards the back post. And the back a bit too close to the goalkeeper, and that was always going to be claimed. Brandt. Allaire. The ball with Marco Reus. In with a chance. And thumped away. Havertz. Havertz. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Felix. And here's Ziyech. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Sebastian Allaire. Jude Bellingham. Guerrero. And they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Opportunity here. And in at the second time of asking. Just what was required. first save is a good one but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball the keeper's a bit unlucky really oh. 
2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Mount. And that'll be a Chelsea ball. Ziesch. Well, possibilities in the centre. Significant block by Hummers. And the counter attack is on. Options available. They might be able to get in now. An attack full of promise. Hips it a go. Well, tremendous block. And delivered by Rafael Guerrero. No nonsense clearance. Guerrero. Now with Rice. Return to Guerrero. Crossing opportunity. Allaire. And blocked for now. Kukureya. Havertz. This looks more than decent. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. But he's gone short with it. Sterling crossing. Well, the danger is still there. Joao Felix, Havertz, and the keeper more than equal to it. <laughs> Who can they pick out? What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Well, we know how explosive Joao Felix can be, but not really bringing his influence to bear on this game. Yeah, he's just not found his form today. He doesn't look quite right. Unless he can impose himself on this game and start threatening the keeper, they're going to lose this one. Who's Chan? The ball with Marco Reus. And he might be through here. A vital piece of last ditch defending. Joao Felix. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And he's through here. And there is the goal. Well, that changes the equation. And they have the momentum now. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Well, 2-1 it is here. Is it going to be? Excellent block. And unable to keep possession. This is looking threatening. Opportunity it is. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. with the corner well not quite the header he had in mind and the goalkeeper gobbling that one up Havertz and 
showing fine vision. Ziyech. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he's done okay. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. In with a chance. Oh, he saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top-class save. Let's see about the delivery. It's not a particularly good corner there. Jude Bellingham. And the ball with Allaire. Meunier. On to Rice. I'm afraid it goes down as a wasted opportunity. Well, no excuses. He should have scored there, and the goalkeeper got really lucky. He can't believe it. Kai Havertz did well to win the ball back. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, they might be onto something. Able to get his body in the way. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. James. And he did what he had to do defensively. Ziyech. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Something to worry about here. Sterling. Not testing the keeper at all with that effort. Daniel Malin. Now with Allaire. Jude Bellingham. What can they do from here? Guerrero. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Oh, managing to beat him. Well, in fairness, he's managed to redeem himself. Guerrero. Now with Allaire. And Bellingham. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. No problems for the keeper. Conte, what a shocking pass, really. Doesn't want to give it away here. Royce, timely intervention. A really sumptuous ball. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Marco Reus. Guerrero. And a poor ball. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? And Dortmund will go to the bench. Firing it towards goal! Well, the free kick lacking just a little bit of guile. Great ball from Raheem Sterling. 
And he stopped them in their tracks. Sebastian Allaire. France with it. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. Allaire. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Can he deliver it with accuracy? It might still be problematic. Emre Can. Superb block. Getting close to the keeper. Into the final 20 minutes. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Wonderfully weighted pass. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Good use of advantage for Dortmund. I must say, this looks promising, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Kukureya, Joao Felix, and back with Kovacic, opportunity, and a fine stop. Short corner taken. Decided to come in from the flank. And the keeper more than equal to it. And over comes the corner. Attending to his defensive chores. Kovacic. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a special, special goal from miles out. Well, here it is again. And just look how he sets himself ready to hit this. He judges the flight of the ball perfectly. And what a sweet connection. That's a brilliant goal. Well, back underway here, and they've split the four goals between them so far. High quality defending. And Goro Conte. And Mount. This might be ideal for the counter. Conte. Well, it was a brilliant break, but no goal as a result. Well, forget the finish and just admire the way they counter-attacked there. They did it with such pace and quality. And Chelsea still knocking on the door in the closing minutes. Can they find a winner? Really vital interception. 
Well, these Dortmund fans can sense a victory here, but the winner has to come soon. Not much time left now. Dahoud. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. see this again he tries to run out with the ball he has the ball taken off of him he's made the wrong decision and suddenly the ball's in the back of the net terrible defending A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider Kukureya here's Kovacic the clock is not on Chelsea's side but it's not over for them now who can he play it to a disappointing end to the move Felix and the electronic board has been held aloft three additional minutes here and the counter attack is on options available well it fizzled out Pulisic James and now with Pulisic Joao Felix and now with Pulisic the final whistle and after 90 minutes in this tie the lead belongs to Borussia Dortmund well they'll be pleased with that victory but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg and I think they'll be confident but it's going to be tight that's for sure